Let's take a look at using formulas um, to find uh, descriptive statistics. Uh, one of them that was on the other sheet, I may have to refer to the other one to get all of them, was minimum. So actually, let me type minimum. Not that I can spell it. There we go. And then over here, I do equals min, then beginning parentheses, and then a1, that's a starting cell of our range, colon, and then a9, that's the ending cell of our range. And then close parentheses and enter. And that'll give us our smallest number. Now these are ranged from smallest to largest, so that's nothing real exciting. Uh, then we have our maximum. And in this cell, I'll type equals MAX, uh, beginning parentheses, A1, colon, A9. Again, from my starting cell to my ending cell. And then enter. And that gives me my maximum. Now our mean. It's average, I guess. Oops. This is supposed to be a title. Okay. We'll do equals, then average, then beginning parentheses, A1, colon, A9. Now, if you remember from, um, from your statistics class, uh, sample mean and population mean are the same formula. So that's, that uh, one covers both of them. Now, next one is standard deviation. And I'm going to do sample standard deviation first. this a little bigger. There we go, and I do equals. And um, this, these are new with uh, 2000, um, 2010. See how we have standard deviation, standard deviation dot P, standard deviation dot S. The standard deviation dot S um, is how we do standard deviation. And again, I'll do or so the sample. Then I'll do A1 colon A9. Again, they have to have parentheses around a range like that. And that gives us that value. Now, the uh, in previous versions of Excel, if I did equals standard deviation, they had uh, this one right here, um, STDEV. And I'll press tab now that I got that highlighted. Of course, I got the beginning parentheses A1 colon A9, closing parentheses. So again, um, STDE, STDEV is for old uh, versions of Excel. The new ones use STD, STDEV.S. So well, let's look at population standard deviation. This is going to equal to, and I'll do standard deviation.p. And actually, I want that, uh, not that it matters. I'll do a tab, make it uppercase so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, P stands for population. Then I'll do A1 colon A9. Close parentheses. In previous versions of Excel, it was equals standard deviation P. And then you do A1 colon A9. Or whatever range you're talking about. Now, um, our sample standard deviation was 39.975. If we look at our summary statistics, this gives us our sample uh, standard deviation. Uh, you don't see on here population standard deviation. So if you want population standard deviation, uh, then you have to use the, the formulas you see here. Now, sample standard deviation, sample variance is uh, more common, um, what people want. Uh, so that's, that's why they, they choose that for descriptive statistics. Now let's look at sample variance. I do equals and var dot s for variance or for um sample, sorry. A one colon A nine. In uh previous versions it was equals var just var. And then A one colon A nine. For a population variance, it's going to equals var dot p. They, I think they really did make that better on uh, Excel 2010. I think it's a little easier to see. I did a tab there to, to complete it, and then a1 colon a9, close parentheses. And then for previous versions of Excel, equals var p. And um, then A1 colon 
A9. Um, what else is there? Let me go look. Uh, mean, median. Okay, let's look at median. That e that's equals M E D I A N. Then beginning parentheses, then A1 colon A9, close parentheses. Now give us our median. Um, let's see some variants. I'm sure you can find all of these, but I'm focusing on the things that um, we use in statistics. Minimum, maximum, I found range. Let's go back to range. I don't know if there's a range function or not. Let's see. Rand. Didn't look like it. Uh, what the range is, is you take your maximum value, so I do equals max, uh, beginning parentheses, A1, colon A9, close parentheses, minus, min, beginning parentheses, A1, colon A9, close parentheses. And that'll give you a range. Now the neat part about these formulas are, is if I come in here and change something, whatever it might be, then my values will change uh, automatically. Uh, let's compare that against this. See how my standard deviation did not change. Um, so if you got a if you got a, for, a spreadsheet, you're going to be working with quite a bit. The formulas are actually the best way to incorporate these uh, items into your spreadsheet because then it's dynamic. Anytime you make any changes, it'll automatically be updated here. But anyway, that's um, your 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 descriptive statistics using formulas.